for some fucking reason people keep calling me a weeb even though I do not look like one I mean come on man I mean yeah I like reading manga especially bad ones because I fucking hate myself and since I'm a manga reader I do what manga readers do the best which is not knowing any Japanese whatsoever but because of that I'm not always up to date with my horrible manga chapters but instead of learning Japanese which is way too much effort for me I decide to do what I always do which is making stuff that barely fucking function to translate the manga first thing I need to do is locate the Japanese text that needs to be translated and for that I used basic image processing to get dark lines in light backgrounds uh, and with some size limitation uh, I will end up with all of the possible Japanese characters in the panel and after that I nested the coordinates of the found lines so I end up with groups that represent speech bubbles and for the next step I need to get the actual text from the image and for that I used optical character recognition so I decided to go with the most accurate model available which is Tesseract so I made the custom filter uh, by finding all the common colors in the text image uh, using some estimations to delete the background and leaving only the text and now we finally have a clean image to get our text and to get more accurate results I used a simple text manipulation to correct uh, common errors in uh, character recognition and to correct simple grammatical mistakes I used Google's autocorrect uh, in Google search engine and for the translation I decided to go with the most accurate model we have a neural network made by a huge tech conglomerate this model has been training for decades and it is used by billions around the world well just google translate hey and now we are almost done all we have to do is remove the japanese text and write the english one so this is the finished uh, program i've made this uh, ui for it you can just select the panels you want to tr translate uh, select the path you want to save them in select your font you can download new fonts and then use them and then just press translate and it will do the translations for you and then if you go to your output path you will find the translated image and it, as you can see it's our favorite google translate broken english what's better than it as you can see some text did not get detected uh, and yeah that's it uh, I will leave a link in the description for this program if you want to download it and use it yourself it is still buggy and it is google translate so it's not going to be perfect uh, and yeah that's it if you like this video like subscribe it's free if not you probably have good taste and yeah that's it see ya